What's up, everybody? It is your friendly neighborhood gamer, Super Dope, here, and I'm joined by my fellow teammate and caster, Robo Creator. Say what's up. Hello. Hello. And today we have another super exciting week two matchup for you. We have Quantum versus Dopamine. I'm gonna get these uh, overlays oh, going. Well, how do you think this is gonna go, Dope? Personally, we saw both of these teams playing games yesterday, both Dopamine. Uh, did really well and quantum played they played fairly well for who they played against and I feel like this is a pretty even matchup But how do you think this is gonna go? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm with you. I really could see this going either way It looks like these guys are gonna be playing I heard a 3v3 Because one of the I'm not sure which team has a player down the other team has also agreed to drop a player So this should be a very unique and exciting matchup So you, we'll see how this goes again. Yeah, yeah. like uh, apparently they just like Quantum's been having some personnel issues. Uh, hopefully they'll get them figured out before the start of the next week and continuing on. I'm sure there's like lots of other EU players. I'm sure that they're interested in playing and that they can find. Yeah, it might be a three v three. I don't know who they're gonna. I don't know who uh, Dopamine is going to drop for it, but we'll find out, I guess, soon. Yeah, it would be uh, the first 3v3 we've seen so far in the ECFL, and I don't even know if there's been a 3v3 played in any previous formation of any Echo Combat League, so this should be, again, exciting, and I'm curious to see what strategies the teams will pull out here. What do you think a, yeah. a 3v3 strat can be? What kind of comps do you want to see? Well, like I said, like 3v3 hasn't been around since the beta days. Like as soon as it went full release, they switched it to 4v4. So it's never really been like 3v3 has never really been played in any kind of like competitive thing. But I wouldn't be surprised. Maybe we saw a lot of Novas, or because then, right now, like you can't really have a Nova stack as much because then you don't have too many of the support players. So we might be seeing fewer number of uh, Nova stacks and more of a slow like slow pushes with the. Uh, Maybe one meteor, or and then like a couple of novas or something. We'll see how it goes. I think they're gonna have to play a little bit slower. They can't play as fast anymore. Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, you might see teams slowing things down a little bit. Maybe some pulsar action, just trying to separate and take up the space with the zoning weapons. Uh, yeah, it should be interesting to see. Our first map of the day is a payload map, so we will be seeing dopamine on the defense and quantum on the attack. What kind of attack would you like to see in a three v three on payload? Uh, like I like I said again, like attack house to go. They just have to find a guy and murder him, like on any right. over any. They still cost, have to get really, that push, so. right? But you can like yeah, they still have to get that with three people. I think they can still try and do a three person boost on somebody because again in this, I think they can't really leave anyone on payload. They have to go out for that three v three fight. So I think the initial attack is gonna be a lot faster than we're used to. There's not gonna be anyone on payload, and the other guys are just gonna have to go out and murder because I don't think a a, a pair can really take on three. Yeah, that's a great point. Before we get started here, quick shout out to our sponsors, Antline Audio, VR Cover, VR Lens Lab, Mammoth VR, and Rebuff Reality. Big shout out. Neither team, oh, yeah, been as I say that, stuff. we have dopamine ready oh, up um, here. I think you threw up the wrong overlays. Oh, on the, are they on the wrong side? No, they're on. They're oh, covering the payload distances. Attack squad ready. Oh yeah, these are capture point ones. Okay, so let me flip it over to the payload. And get those up. It looks like they're starting. It looks like they dropped blenders. It looks like dopamine dropped blenders for their um uh as so you could put a three v three. So right now they're rolling with rocket, TTG, and globe surfer. I actually think that's a really good comp for them. We can see them going out right now. Rocket and TTG were both popping off yesterday against all the teams they played against. So I think this is a really good loadout for them. We see them playing double novas, triple heals, an arc mine, double insta, and one meteor. On the attacking side, we have Bramer, Callum, and Dage. We're seeing double Comet and a Pulsar out from them with double debt, single insta heal. Uh, two threat scans and a single long heal. Interesting um, how they're I going with double threat scanner, no? Does that surprise you? I think with such a few amount of players, you you want to make the most out of your heals and your damage or something, but they're actually sacrificing that just to figure out where they are. Well, I feel like to me they're playing a very long range comp because they have no Novas at all. They have a Pulsar for any kind of close range and then two Comets. So it does make sense that they're running a lot of threat scans here so they can keep them at arm's distance with those uh, Comets. Make sure they always have, like, they have complete control of vision here. It so looks like they seem to be. That part, but yeah. They're doing the opposite of what we suggested, right? They're actually going onto yeah. the payload here. 
and they get Slowing stunned down a right bit, out yeah. of the back. So we wanted to see them get oh, a quick pick. Oh, we see an pick. important pick there, yeah. They that's a good pick one. right there. They got the Nova out too, which means uh, they're gonna have a harder time defend. Oh, never mind. With Globe Server just taking Bramer straight out of the fight. TTG is just uh, clapping Dage, and now it's just two on. Looks like the defender's probably gonna get back in time again. Yep. Multi Calum just sitting up there. He goes straight over to the payload though, by himself. The meteor splash coming on from the right side as the teammate finally manages to get back for uh, dopamine. So now we have Brain Warrior going down after taking out Globe Surfer. Another stun coming in, taking down Multi Calum, and it looks like a solid hold so far for dopamine. Yeah, they're playing really close, which is not what you usually do in 4v4, but I guess they're kind of. it's. It's kind of working out for them in this case, especially since oh, you can see uh, Quantum is switching, uh, dropping both two comets, uh, one for a Nova, one for a Meteor, and the Pulse are switching out to uh, Nova now. And they also dropped a Threat Scan, and they're going triple that. So we can see their coming down. From yeah, we see that they kind of reacted pretty quickly when they realized their long range comp wasn't working, and that's been really good on them. They're trying to adapt here. And look, uh, Globe just Oh, there's straight that early the pick on Globe Surfer. Finally, this is exactly what Quantum needed. They are able to continue the fight, but again, no payload progress yet. They want to. Okay, finally, they get someone onto the payload here as they are pursuing the kill here onto Brain War, but. Oh, no. Rocket still gets it off, though, and defends the payload. Wow, great oh, but that's play a by really Rocket. bad stagger for defense, though, so it's not great for them. But it is going to be a two-on-two -two fight coming up here with some great damage coming straight out from the Meteor, but I don't think he's going to get a kill on this. Oh, he might get away. Oh, the attacker oh. does get one. Payload mobilized. Again, it just seems to be a, much, like, a, a lot of brawls coming out here. No actual like strategies or boosting going on. Just kind of, at least from the uh, Quantum side, just trying to get everything inch by inch. Just rushing at the payload. Trying to get some picks that, from anyone that will contest it. Again, rushing back to the payload here. Finally, catching Rocket out by himself. Managed to get the pick. A great pick for Quantum. And it looks like with 30 seconds left... They, they may actually not get, oh, maybe they, looks like they've jumped off the payload. Even if they do take this, they had a, they lost a lot of time from this, so that's really gonna hurt them in the coming checkpoint right now. But it looks yep. like he's just gonna walk this in, the other guy's oh, just C9. Multi so. Oh, and Mick Callum just, the payload like, in. TTG off with the Gets detonator. taken out, but it doesn't matter because they already got the good spawn. So now, Brainware with an early pick on Globe Surfer will set them up to have a, a lot of space here in the tunnels, which is exactly what yeah, they Bramer want. Yeah, Bramer taking a double with Rocket and Globe Surfer. Quantum right now should just press W, leave one guy in point, go up there with two guys and just hold that room right now. But they're yeah, still taking agreed. it slow, which so is what we're seeing. Yeah, right now. instead they're leaving two people on the point. They need to try and take that space because again, with two people on the point, oh, but TGT goes in by himself and gets punished hard. Yeah, he does. It didn't really work out for him. We're seeing uh, both Novas up there. Uh, Bramer and Callum are doing really well playing together here, and it looks like they're cycling their heals um, pretty well, and they're usually uh, double tapping people together. We can see them pushing straight into that room, trying to get Globe out. They trade one out, but they do get Globe, so it looks like they may be in the lead here a little bit with considering spawn times and player advantages. Oh, but, oh, they but the, uh, TGT comes TGT right in TGT will take from the two spawn. to defend that room by himself. Oh, man. What a play by him. Yeah, that was a really, really important play, too, because if TGT went down, they definitely would not have had the resources to continue that fight. So now, yeah, they we have, have that checkpoint for sure. a reset coming through from Quantum, and we'll see, they have only a minute left. Not a lot of time, but not a lot of distance. You think they're going to be able to pull this off? Um, I think it's really up in the air. Both teams have really been doing, like, well about getting the picks and stuff. Both uh, Callum and uh, Bramer have been kind of popping off. I know we see Octage also switching to Nova now. It looks like Quantum's just trying to brute force it at this point. Yep. It looks like TTG again popping off, just like holding the line against Callum and Bramer, and Globesurf for finishing off Dage. We actually see both teams switching to Triple Nova loadouts, Dage switching actually back to Comet after that last push. So we'll see how this works out for them. Payload mobilized. Alright, we have Dopamine so far holding the room. They're not trying to push into the tunnel this time. And once the payload though hits the choke point, they attack. They go in, perfect timing on the defense here. They managed to get a pick, but they do trade out, so it's a 2v2, slowing down Quantum a little bit. They decide to hang back, get the health back, those natural health regens. multi Callum back up to full health now, a respawn should be coming in soon. Oh, oh this is a big TGT and oh, Rocket go down! Up, now they can all just jump on it, and I don't, I don't think Dopamine is going to be able to hold this right yep, now. Yep, this is exactly what Quantum yeah. needed. Really, really great attack here. They will be able to push this, although maybe, just maybe, there'll be some defense. Nope. 
The respawns oh, no. are not in time, not nearly in time. But they time. barely got that too. They've only got two minutes to push it up this last hill. And do you really think they're gonna be able to push that up? Usually you see it taking over a minute to push this it's hill. It's true, this is a really, really tough spot to push, especially with three people. I can't imagine how they are going to take this hill there. Uh, let's see exactly where the defense sets up. They are holding this hill, so they will allow them a little bit of space into the tunnels here. But once it hits those tunnels, they're gonna have a really hard time pushing this up the hill. Yeah, oh, uh, we're all right now, it's 3v3, because they, but one team had a drop, and the other team, Dopamine agreed to do a 3v3. I don't so know right how I feel about this. Both, we have Dopamine giving up their position on the hill, although they do stagger out Bramer over there. He was by himself, although if yeah, but Quantum would have capitalized on that, so they gave up their positioning. They could have taken them out, but they were too Halo split returning. up, and... They are going to get punished. multi Callum by himself here. He may be... Oh, that is a big stagger. And now Quantum <laughs> yeah, is going Rocket to have to wait for that Yeah, Rocket being able to respawn. defend his teammate. Yeah, Rocket. Uh, Globes I forgot pressed a little bit too much W there and almost got killed for it. But Rocket fortunately came and saved him. We have all three defense guys back. We do see Quantum stacking up with the spawn, which again is a really good idea. It's like not stacking up is one of the biggest mistakes the team can make. And they're really making an efficient use of their time. They've only got Target. under a minute now, so I don't know how well they're going to do from here on out. We see the team stacking up, which is definitely something we like to see. However, when they boost in, they're just going straight for the payload, making themselves easy targets and not really giving any pressure onto the defense here. And it seems like they're getting punished for that. They, they're just trying to get every... It seems like their strategy here is to just try and capitalize on all the distance they can get. But it seems like that's a little defeatist. I think they need to try and just win this fight out so that they can push it all the way. You have to go, for, go hard or go home, as they say. I think it doesn't help either that none of these teams are used to four like three v threes as everyone's been playing four v four since literally the get the day the game came out. So That's true. There's definitely not no three v really three like meta to you know take advice from or, or yeah. any footage to watch back. But yeah, so these guys are just oh, kind of like they're all winging it right now. Oh, yeah. they just delete TTG to start off with. Again, a questionable kill. positioning oh. on the defense there, right on the payload where you know the offense wants to go. I definitely would have stayed a little further back and used. Some range advantage, but uh, overtime is oh, ticking. Oh, Rocket may be able to do this. True, he's got heals. Rocket and he's takes got out a couple. Will he be able to finish off Braymore here and secure it? Oh, he uh, does yep, trade with Braymore, and that is it. Payload yeah, is stopped. That was, that was a great trade from Rocket's side, and he actually got two to hold that payload by himself. He lost. Yeah, that was a great last stand defense there lately. from Rocket. They pushed about, what, halfway up that hill, or halfway up this third point, which isn't that bad, considering they only had around two minutes to do it. So it's, I'm willing, I want to see what uh, Dopamine's going to do on attack, because they've been, like, playing a lot of Novas and Meteors and stuff. I wonder if they're going to play a little bit quicker initially than uh, Quantum did, because initially Quantum picked, the lo uh, like, a long-range loadout, <laughs> and I guess tried to keep uh, Dopamine at bay, but it didn't really work out so well. But they did adapt pretty quickly, so... Yeah, I agree. Uh, Dopamine definitely had a really solid defense. I'm actually surprised that Quantum got it as far as they did. Seems like they had some like last-minute team fight wins that came in really clutch for them. Let's see what Dopamine does on the other side here on his hack. Or oh, seeing um, a spread of weapons come out from Quantum. We're seeing a common a pulsar and a Do Nova. Do I have to switch which... these overlays around? Right? Uh, yeah. let me check. Match starting. Uh, in. yeah. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Uh, so right now we're seeing uh, the normal loadout we're seeing, we've been seeing from Dopamine basically the whole game. The triple heals, no threat scan, double Novas, the Comet, double Insta, and the Detonator. On Quantum side, we're seeing something different. We are seeing them using one less threat scan. Uh, Dage switched off to heal, and he's now on a Nova. So like, it looks like uh, Quantum's trying to play again close range. They're trying to like uh, imitate what Dopamine did to them. We'll see how yeah. else it's gonna work. Oh, we oh, see him diving on top he's of the payload. Right onto the payload. I don't know if that's a good idea though. Again, if you I are the defending he team, get punished your spawns, yeah, get, your spawns oh, are too long. You can't this. take risks like that. Again, his team is gonna go down now, and it's gonna take them so long to come back. That is a lot of distance here payload that mobilized. Dopamine's about to get. <laughs> Multi Callum yeah. running for his life here. Oh, yeah, in fear. <laughs> Despite how much damage was done uh, to the enemy team by Quantum, they were just unable to capitalize on that damage with that pulsar at all. And it, uh, Dopamine, however, did invest a lot of resources into that fight, like dumping two heals, a bunch of insta heals out. We see them pretty much losing out the next fight on Payload. We see a random insta heal coming out for. A 
Uh, I'm not sure who that was. Oh, Rocket. I'm not sure why he used that. A fantastic defensive play there coming up from Quantum. Quantum actually played that really smart. They knew that they were giving up a lot of distance there. They just went straight for the payload, killed the person on it, and made everyone rotate back. But during that rotation, the response came in and finished up the rest of the team too. So really great job just stopping them in their tracks. Payload mobilized. Yeah, it was, uh, we're seeing Quantum again getting a little bit bird happy here. They're also kind of splitting up, getting into a bunch of one on ones there when they should be getting these two on ones at the very least. Like, if you want to, if fighting equal fights oh, no. are. How is Dage still alive? <laughs> you want to fight, like, I'll take an unequal fight at the say, at any day of the week, and we see them dunking on the defense, dunking on payload again, and it's still coming out. Uh, Quantum doing a really good job at holding this payload. It looks like they're doing all, like almost as good a job as uh, uh, Dopamine did. So we'll see how much longer that is. They're about one minute left out of the three minutes they start with. So we'll see if Dopamine can pull this off. Looks like they're taking a moment to... Looks like they're actually oh, doing the first boost. Oh, it looks like they messed they up missed. the boost there. And Rocket kind of floating a little after the fact here. Trying to get some positioning. Seems. Braymore doesn't notice him. Oh, there he goes. Call, calls him out there, but he is able to just slide by there. Finally noticed, and the 1v1 commences. And Braymore Rocket winning out the 1v1 with the insta heal may actually take this checkpoint. It's about the same amount of time uh, Quantum took to get it. Yep. It. Just walk it in with two and a half minutes to push this last point. So how do you think that? How do you think they won that fight? Do you think Again, um, it was just messy fights here and there? I mean, they, we haven't any, seen any like coordinated. Actually, we saw one boost. Although, again, it was a little messy there, too. They managed to just get those scrappy kills, though. But sometimes, again, if you're on offense, that's all it takes is just getting that pick and then capitalizing on that respawn time. Oh, we saw an important trade out there. Rocket trading for Bramer, which is really important because of the spawn difference between these two teams. Well, uh, the 1v1 wasn't necessarily a better idea. They could have left one guy on payload and forced two in there. But we already see the attacker, uh, Rocket, coming back. And we yep. see another day also falling. Here, getting a little too aggressive, going into the tunnels and getting punished again. Yeah, Bomb, um, they were playing a 3v3 because multi Callum couldn't find anybody, and Dopamine decided they wanted to also play with a 3v3. So, originally Blenders was going to play, but he dropped out, and now they're just playing this 3v3. Oh, uh, Dage was too slow to spawn to actually contest it, and he'll just get killed out by other respawning teammates. Yeah, so we see a bunch of staggered defense there from Quantum, as Dopamine still pushing the payload, looking a little stronger here. They have 3.30 to push, as opposed to Quantum, who only had two minutes at this point. Uh, yeah, we're seeing a... Like, oh, I like to also, see this. Like, a there we go. Coordinated push, we have Dopamine here, pushing oh, coordinated into the tunnel. Oh, the they do manage out, to trade out. It looks like they're going to get taken down here, but they do. Again, they're taking the whole attention of the team as that payload. Again, chugging all, chugging all the way down. 3.15 on the clock, and look at that distance. They're already so close yeah, to where Quantum there. got it. That's, that was a really great push. Yeah, Quantum did help overcome that back. They saw, okay, there's only one guy in payload. Oh, TGT other guy just by himself, oh, though. TGT. The lone survivor takes out two, and now there is no defense. They just have inches to go. Is this it? Is Dopamine about to I win? I think this is... Oh, they might get oh, last second attack, but no. so that's not going to be enough. Like, right there, Dopamine did try, uh, what they did was good, like, they left the other guy on his own, they went to go dunk on the payload, and they did that well, but the problem is they completely forgot about TTG in the back, and he just came in and cleaned them up, so. Yeah. Uh, that was disappointing to see, like, I, I really wanted to, like, they had some really good team play there, you saw Dopamine dunk on those, or Quantum dunk on those guys in the alleyway, and you see uh, Quantum also dunked in the payload, but they weren't able to, like, really keep track, they had not enough game sense to keep track of the flanks that were coming up from behind, and, PGG's mechanic mechanically skilled enough where he just took advantage of that and then just uh, crushed him. Yep, great job. Dopamine takes us 1-0. The second map will be coming out soon after we send this to a quick message from our sponsors.
This is Pitt and he takes creating lenses pretty seriously. That's no surprise because he has been creating innovative lenses and coatings for the German market since 10 years in his laboratory he started back in 2004. Do I have the team names right? I think so. We are back for our second map of the day. Your friendly neighborhood gamer, Super Dope here, joined by my fellow teammate and caster again, the esteemed Robo Creator. Hello. So tell so us about the map we are about to play on here. We're starting with Combustion. This is a or we're end. We're, this is the second map. We're playing Combustion right now. It's this is only the wild. second time we've actually seen Combustion on my casting my very minor casting career. So it'll be interesting to see. You don't really see a lot of teams playing Combustion. Not a lot of teams like it that much. I personally love it. I, I think it's a great map, and I like to see more of it. I honestly think that Combustion can really lend itself to 3v3 play a little bit more a little bit more than other games, or other maps at least. Like, it, it was the first capture point, and it was around during 3v3. So we'll, we'll see how this goes. How do you, which one, which team do you think is going to take the upper hand for combustion here, Dope? I don't know. We saw Dopamine playing really aggressively and actually kind of, again, it's 3v3, so we can only predict so much or say so much about each team here. This is kind of, you know, a wild card match. But again, Dopamine seemed to be getting the most out of the 3v3, sending two men on the boost, keeping one back on the payload, but pushing forwards, taking up the space, as opposed to just going at the payload. Now, on a capture point, there is no payload, so it is a different game. It, it, I, I could see this going either way. Prepare yeah, again, like with how close I think these teams are in like relative skill level and how like just wild card this matches with only 3v3, I think it's really hard to really tell, really predict how well this map is going to go either way. But from what I saw last time, Dopamine really seemed to have their stuff together and Quantum was like on the reacting scale of this instead of proacting and it, sometimes it wasn't so good. We see a phase already coming out from Dage. Oh, he's just kind of sitting there now. Some pulse are actually oh, from a, both teams. Yeah. Yeah, we're seeing a lot of pulse. We're seeing a lot of pulse. We have half the players in this map are playing pulse. Or you got one on dopamine side and two on quantum side. We're seeing a one v one breakout over here on the point. It looks like they actually switched out rocket for Reddles, which is also known as blenders in some scenarios. So we're seeing a little bit of a change up. I guess they're swapping members out. And the first cap here goes to dopamine. So pretty good so far. Again, they're. Making the most of those, you know, those trades, winning out those 1v1 duels, and taking up all that space. Yeah, it looks like a lot of the scenarios where uh, Dopamine has a little bit of mechanical advantage in some of these things, or at least a situational advantage with the Novas on Pulsars and stuff. So, in order for Quantum to really pull us out, we need to see a little bit more team coordination coming from them. They've been doing a lot better sticking together than they do in so they've, than they've done in the past, so it's really, really seen them improving. 
But right now we're seeing them very split up. We're seeing two up front and one way in the back. And so far he has not getting destroyed, but he definitely he should be getting noticed down by yet. We have multi count here. Throws He's the dead in. He's going in by himself. Gets the pick and he on like, Yeah, Callum will get the initial pick, but he will get refragged out by Globe. They will refrag Globe Surfer out, and it looks Boy, like it's just a one on two. <laughs> oh, right that now. stun is just bouncing around. It took out them both, but again, the DPS is not there. So we just have a little stalling going on here. It seems like Rettles is just running around the point trying to survive. Oh, Dage does take down Rettles, and they managed to capture the point for the first time, though, in this match. And it's 60 59. To five yeah, they lost 60% to that one. We yeah. see like two comets coming out from Quantum right now, so that was kind of rough for them trying to shoot that crabbing Nova. We're seeing like a little bit, some more uh, hill play it looks like, or some play behind the point uh, for uh, dopamine. So we'll see how they're gonna play this before they had like a yeah, they're playing behind the point in Wells. Oh, they're pushing in from up front. He's just pushing in on his own. His team's a little bit slow to react. I guess they didn't quite know that he was pushing in. He might die right here unless he can get an insta-heal from his team. Yeah, it seems like both teams here, you know, not really... Uh, it seems like they're sending two forwards, and both teams are getting caught out by that single-man flank coming in on the other side. They have to have that awareness saying, you know, this is a 3v3. We see two. Where is that one? And uh, both times, that single-man flank coming up big for both teams. I think the issue is most people are used to like uh, building sight lines around four people, and right now they've only got three people, so they're not really quite able to fill in all the holes of their sight lines. So I can see why they're getting flanked with these one-man flanks right now. But I guess they just gotta be like a little bit more aware and a bit more mobile in this case. They just can't keep like focusing down one single sight line. We see Rettle's some pushing up w hard here and blenders. gets taken out by multi yeah, Now Rettle. this is Quantum's chance here. If they can push in here, they should have the man advantage. Oh no! But multi a little too over aggressive there. Goes in by himself and gets focused down early, making it a two v two. Braymore going down too, and oh, they were so close, but it doesn't look like they'll be able to hold this out here. Again, the mechanical fights out going to Dopamine, and it seems to be giving them the edge here. Yeah, it looks like the Novas are just working a lot better for them than the Pulsars are working for uh, Quantum. Like, Quantum is only running one Nova, and Dopamine is running two. Yep. So they've got a little bit of poke with the Pulsar, and uh, some really great Novas right there. Both Rettles and TTG have really started to really show that they have the ability to be good Novas, and... Quantum is just unable to get away from the fact that they're just in their face and they don't have enough close range DPS to really stop that. Yeah, agreed. And the most important thing though is if you are Quantum and you are trying to go in, we see them kind of staggering it a little bit and, and going in like one after another on those, even when they're boosting, they're kind of going one after another. The, the important thing is if you're the defending team and someone's flying right at you, you're all going to shoot that person. So whoever is out in front is going to get focused down real fast. When you're boosting out like that, you have to make sure you're together as a team to try and mitigate as much incoming damage as possible and that's why we saw that 3v2 turn into a 2v2 real quick yeah speaking of that we just saw a 3v3 2v2 turn into a 1v1 one one one. really quickly which, <laughs> it looks like both comets are now just shooting at each other Yep, and just they're unable to really do anything. Away. Oh, we have Do oh Dage here moving up, kind of taking taking that space on the hill, but he does have the low ground. We've seen Star Wars, and we do know how this ends up. Although Dage trying to take that high ground, he's seen Star Wars himself. <laughs> Both of these teams are coming in right behind their teammates. It's just, just going to turn into a mess with Rettles going down first. Dage getting refragged out for that. And it looks like TTG goes down for Quantum to take the point. There's one dopamine player left, but it looks like he's playing it smart and not really going in. Oh, or he's gonna—he's pushing up anyway. Popping his this is not in. a great position for him to be in right now. He may get punished. He is floating away with that Pulsar, though, trying to bait out some of the defense, maybe. But doesn't look like they're falling for that bait. They let him kind of just fly back there. He does get some good damage off on Dage, and they haven't quite healed that back, but he it's healed back now. Hopefully, I wish Quanta, or Dopamine in this case, would have taken control, taken advantage of that initial damage they got oh, originally, man. but they weren't quite able to. multi Callum getting caught out there, and it looks like Dopamine will flip this. Although, two survivors underneath there, they're low health, but again, Rettles they doesn't really have the damage to take them both down. So he, they and will. And Quantum will, feels like they can't take them with that kind of health. They are auto healing now, so we will see. Yeah. We're seeing a meteor come out from uh, Dopamine now on Globe Surfer. More poke. We just have uh, Quantum circling the point here. Globe going down. Bramer taking two, both Globe and Rettles, and Quantum will flip this point in their favor. With TTG fleeing for his life uh, onto Quantum's side of the map. So this is pretty back and forth here. We have 46 to 28. And now 
we have Qu Dopamine on the approach here. It looks like a flank. I don't know if he's noticed. Oh, there's the threat scanner. They know where he is now. He does take some damage. TGT is in trouble by himself there. Again, look at this team, this Dopamine team here, really split up. Globe Surfer goes down on the point. TGT has to just feed in here. He gets taken down. Bramer again taking good. two. We saw TTG taking a really risky cross there. I don't think he could have crossed. I think he just could have pushed up because someone came really close to him. I think it was multi -calum. He could have just jumped out, killed him, and the rest of his team could have gone in on the 3v2. But instead, he chose to try and cross the sight line against the Comet. And it didn't really work out in his favor. It looks like Quantum here is going to take out this point pretty convincingly with a 28 to 100% lead. Yep, they do not have enough round chance, complete. enough time to get onto the point. And Squad that's victory. the first round. Oh, no, the second so, round. Oh, so it's... Yeah, that yeah. was the second round, so okay. we see, we'll see a 2-1 on Combustion. If Quantum can take this map, then we're going to go to a, th like a, two, a third map, which will be interesting to see. Like this, map has, like, this game has been really back and forth from both teams. Yeah, it's really exciting to see, and, and great job, Quantum, for getting the equalizer there. It would be really cool to see them take this and uh, go to a map three, on a 3v3, three, three map three. To the well, we're now we're on yeah, round three. The rule of threes. <laughs> We're seeing a stat. We're seeing dopamine on orange team here stacking up. It looks like they're probably just gonna go to wells, like their normal strategy is, which you see a lot of them doing a lot. Looks like, like they, they get messed up here on the boost though. It a little as, bit, so. Yeah, as Quantum they are makes very it to the point up. first. Reddle's going to hill by himself and just the thing is, when you get to that point, it is really hard to take. So they're kind of giving up that positioning early for not as advantageous positioning, and now they get split up and go down early. Multi Calum takes out a couple, and they are going to catch him out here. It looks like. Yep, Globe Surfer will go down and. Multi Calum actually killing the entire enemy yeah. team. Getting the final. <laughs> getting the kills for there. all of them. <laughs> and the point will unlock, and it looks like they will have an easy job capturing, although we have Rettles on the flank here. Oh man, he is caught out and eliminated. Again, we see yeah. Dopamine just splitting up, coming from all different angles. We need to see them group up and go for some unified push here. Again, look. One at the middle, again, it's a 3v1 right here, and the teammate is just taking a sweet time. But now, again, TGT already having to run, uses the insta heal. This is looking really messy. Now, the, okay, finally they managed to hop in, take the point in the middle of the fight, but that is not a good thing, because now, if he gets taken out... Oh, we see a great detonator coming out. Oh, oh man. Globes are taking one. is fighting for his life, though. Oh, they do what? take two, so it looks like they will actually not only flip this point, but get to keep it. Okay. With Rettles taking, he's Rettles switching off Meteor back to Nova and just kind of cleaning up from his teammates' damage. Wow. So, I mean, again, that was really messy, but somehow, some way, it worked. And now, I mean, now we see uh, uh, Dopamine here bypassing Quantum score, uh, go blowing past the 29% mark. And we also see Quantum here taking a little bit of a slower push. Again, uh, Multicalm over here by himself. Hopefully his teammates will come and try and save him, but it doesn't look so... Oh, he does! However, Rettles are... TTG will push straight in and manage to get a kill. He may be able to get another one here, but he's also he's just kind of... Yep, there goes another one. So they're just kind of holding Day strong here Bramer on the point. Globesilver takes out a third, and that is another full wipe here for Dopamine. Dopamine holding really strong here once they have the point. Again, this is such a hard point to take over with four people, let alone three people. Uh, we will see one final push, maybe, if they have time. I don't know. 90 it seconds like and they're counting. Too much. They're trying I to stack up. They finally break out of here. They end up going, oh, will they be able to get in 99? Oh, oh they managed to get, get on the point. Fight breaking out. They take oh, they out a couple here. And they do. They take the point. Wow. Great Looks last like second one -man effort coming in from, by Quantum. Uh, Rettles. Yeah, that was 99. That was like to the edge right there. Really great. They kind of delayed for a little bit. Oh, looks like they are going to get Rettles here by himself with that. And they do. Out. So another flip here from Quantum. Really great job coming in at the last second. That clutch take here. Although we do have did not see Dopamine coming. coming in with the two stack. Again, a two stack versus three. If they push in here, they can just take that man advantage to them. It doesn't seem like they will do that though. They instead, Dopamine splits up. Again, an, I don't know how I feel about this decision. Bringing it to a. 3v1 over here, they managed to take out TGT, but Braymore goes down as Globe Surfer flies in with the detonator. This is oh, they can't let them take that point. They have to get into contest. So, uh, it looks like it's just one on one. Globe Surfer taking down two. Two v one here. Multi Calum still multi holding strong against. And that's oh, it. But Rettles and, and Globe Surfer managed to take down Multi Calum, flip the point, 
And that's it. Dopamine ends up winning. 2 0. -oh. -oh. We actually had Rettles crashing out right there. That's why we only probably saw two from Dopamine. I don't know when he quite crashed out. Maybe he just did. Yikes. But that was a pretty good 3v3 game. Uh, we haven't really we haven't seen 3v3 before at all, so that was interesting to see. Definitely, and I don't know if we'll ever see 3v3 again. This might have been like that unicorn of games, fellas. But uh, yep, dopamine winning out. Uh, historical match, 2-0. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. We will have some a bunch more matches coming up today, including mine and Robo. So stay tuned for that. Hello. Uh huh. And uh, thanks for joining <laughs> in again. Thank you to our sponsors. And we will see you next time.